Hello everyone, today's video uh, shares the four basic uses of Yao. Let's go straight to the first one. Yao could be translated as want. It appears in uh, HSK Book 1 and 2 textbook. Uh, normally, sentence structure could be a subject plus 想要 plus objective or verb phrase. This structure implies that the subject wants to get something or want to do something. In the sentence, Yao is often used to express personal subjective uh, desire or wishes, emphasizing the speaker's individual intentions and needs. Even though we translate it as want, however, in Chinese expression is more turned to the meaning of may I or would like to do something, such as 我要这个面包。我要这个面包. I would like to have this bread. 我要一杯水。我要一杯水. I want a glass of water. In English, expressing want in this way can be quite direct and uh, abrupt. However, in Chinese expression, you can overlook this part and boldly use 我要。Additionally, sometimes we also say 我想要这个面包。我想要一杯水. The difference between 想要 and 要 lie in the fact that the things are action after 要 are more desired in your mind. You can refer to this video to better understanding this feeling. Hello, welcome. How may I help you? 我要这个面包。I only need this bread right now. I don't need anything else. 我想要这个面包. I'm actually considering I have to get one more cookie next one and also have a cup of coffee. And um, now you can confidently to go to the coffee shop and order a cup of coffee in Chinese. 我要一杯咖啡。我想要一杯咖啡 In the above sentence, 要 could be swap with 想要 without a great deal of difference. 要 can involve the meaning of need or should. In HSK Book 3, we learned the sentence structure, subject plus 要 plus objective or verb phrases. Emphasize standards accepted by a society or majority, such as 我们要爱护环境。我们要爱护环境。吃饭前要洗手。吃饭前要洗手。我们要关心老人和孩子。我们要关心老人和孩子。for these examples, we can see that 保护环境, protecting the environment. 饭前洗手, washing hands before meal. And 关心老人和孩子, caring for older and children are generally societal norms. When we use 要 in spoken sentence, it expresses an outdoor attitude toward this behavior. It worth noted that when yao is used to express should, the meaning of sentence is somewhat ambiguous, such as 吃饭前要洗手, wash hands before meals is just a good habit, uh, generally accepted by everyone. So when expressing should with yao, a more suitable translation might be yield better too. Negation form 不要 plus verb or verb phrase plus 了 is a relative miles uh, command form uh, conveying a desire for current action to stop. Adding 了 indicates a change in the current stage of the action. The usage of 了 is explained in HSK Book 1, License 5. 不要说了 不要说了 indicates probably the speaker may not want to continue the discussion due to the sensitive content. 不要吃了, 不要吃了. Express if the speaker wish for the other person not to continue eating. Uh, it could be because they already enough, 
uh, improper it or other reasons. 不要吸烟了。不要吸烟了。Convice opposition to smoking and wish for the other person to stop. It might be in no smoking area or for healthy reasons. 不要打电话了, 不要打电话了, expresses the desire for other person to stop making a call. Um, perhaps because the current environment is not suitable or a uh, concentration is needed to other reasons. Future tense, subject plus yao plus verb plus objective. At the beginner levels, yao can be used to indicate the future tense. Uh, will the word hui also expresses the future, indicating events uh, expected to happen uh, based on pattern. Yao emphasizes the speaker's subjective arrangement or decision about future events. Look at some examples. 他们要去饭馆吃饭。他们要去饭馆吃饭。要 in this sentence uh, represents the subjective plan of the subject. 他们, they, and uh, the verb 去, to go, uh, indicates the uh, intended action of going. It expresses the speaker's subjective desire to go to the restaurant to eat. 他要换工作。他要换工作。要换 change indicates the subject. 他, he has a plan to change jobs. 我要学中文。我要学中文。要学 uh, indicates the uh, intention to learn. Suggesting the speaker plan to study Chinese in the future. From these four uses of yao, we can summarize that its applications are quite basic and commonly found in HSK Book 1 and 2. Um, this video aims to help you learn, and uh, I appreciate your comment below the video. Uh, I will see you next time. Bye bye.